This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. So if you got an MC Plus or a 36 like this right here, and you say, hey, I just want to check it really quick. I don't want to have to go through. So you take the screws off, open this up, make sure it's clean, that everything's fine. There's no insects on it. There's no burnt marks. Okay, so I have a little transformer hooked up here. I got my, normally you got your yellow and your red, but I got two orange, and I have my ground right here, and I just got it plugged into a pigtail. So for me to check all this, this can take a lot of time where I have to program one, program two, program three. I have this little tool right here where, as you can see, when I put it on, it goes through and lights up every single station. Now, by it telling me automatically, I can just go here. So that's firing this solenoid right here. There's a little plunger inside and it's popping it just like that making it go upside back and forth why don't you go ahead and touch both these wires here so this is the common and this is number one so put one on the common right there here. yep okay see it popping like that yeah so now i know it would pull up okay so now what this does is this de-glitches the clock. So say you have a, a bad solenoid in the field and it takes it, gives it 24 volts and for some reason there's a crack or a little nick in the wire. It'll go back to the Aerotrol clock and on the display it'll say fuse, fuse, fuse. Now what you try to do is just take the battery out, wait a couple minutes and then restart it. Sometimes that reboots it up like if you were doing a computer and you said hey I'm just gonna go ahead unplug it wait five minutes and then replug it in again Now that will erase by taking this out because this holds the memory of, of what's going on So if you had a surge on and it kicked out the electricity on your house or your condo Then or your, you know whatever you have your commercial building this holds the memory in when the electricity comes back Then the battery comes on everything holds in the memory but if this goes bad or there's a problem with this, it doesn't hold the memory. But so you take this off, it kind of cleans up everything. But because it took a hit from the solenoid out in the field, a bad solenoid, it's not going to erase that. It says, hey, this right here, you've got all these little red things here that are going to be capacitors and these are going to be triacs right here. And then what it's doing right now is I'm giving voltage to every single one of these by hitting this little switch. If I turn it on, it goes off. If I turn it on, it comes back on again. So that tells me every single one of these are firing. It tells me that none of the capacitors are bad or none of the triacs are bad. And that it's giving voltage. So it tells me the regulators are doing, everything's firing in here. So it's all working fine. The only problem that this has is that this keypad is bad. Somehow it broke these little niches on it and that you would go into your local distributor and buy a keypad. All you've got to do is unplug it right here you see how that just came off so you take the screws off boom pull it out push this off come into your distributor push another one on really put it back on boom you're back in business again and when you got yourself like a 32 station clock like this one here 32 station clocks 800 to 1200 dollars they're very expensive all i'm doing is coming back over to the remote here so i'm going to turn it off I would take this right here out. So what this is right here is that if you have a Rainmaster remote or anybody's remote, you plug it into here and then now you can, from in the field, you would take your remote and you'd have your little harness there. What I've done is I've made this little box here, got this little box, plugged it in and made it so this analyzes the, the board, makes sure that the board's working. If none, one of these lights weren't working, that means my triac or capacitor and I can just replace these pretty easy. If I have problems and I can't program, this cleans it up. Then it would tell me that the um, microprocessor wasn't working. So I can just go over to this one, the same thing. All Aerotrol clocks have it, boom, I push it into here, I'm hooked up to the remote, 
I can hook this up to 110 here through my 24 volts with my transformer. I would click it on. It would start cleaning this all up. So that means that if you have a clock in the field, I can pull this panel, take this little tool right here, something we put together, and then end up popping it on and clean out my clock, get it working again, and it can take five minutes. I don't have to send it into uh, somebody to get it repaired or you have a week down and you're waiting and waiting for it to go bad. You got 32 stations, you're hand watering or you have to have a spare. By me glitching and cleaning up everything and getting in, in good shape, I, I've saved myself tons of time. So you can do this by having a spare, sticking it inside your panel box or, and then pulling it out or taking it and just hooking it right up. I can leave this panel in, just hook it right up like this, strobe everything, making sure everything comes on, clean everything, take it back out, make sure there's no insects, nothing. You would use your contact cleaner, rubbing alcohol, no WD-40, no oil product, just clean it, wipe it all off really good, and you should do this as a preventive maintenance every year. So we're gonna be coming out with troubleshooting and I'm gonna show you how to solder, how to take any of these parts off, replace them, and how easy it is to be able to service your, your clock in the field. We do this in our certified repair technician class, going over the electrical troubleshooting and uh, controller programming. So this is something that uh, we're showing you, just giving you a little taste of how we do it in our classes. We'd love for you to come to one of our classes. If you have any comments or you want me to do something else, in the field and show you how to troubleshoot your clocks make a comment on our youtube channel and we'll add some new stuff make some more videos on everybody's clock and show you how to troubleshoot your stuff in the field and you can do it from uh your truck anywhere with the right tools and we'll get you uh, basic tools that you should have with you in the field to troubleshoot thank you very much this is richard irrigator tech thank you bye-bye man it was a